Okay, let's see what this one turns out to be. So we're going to single colour. Going to start with red. Now we're just going to go do our usual setup. Actually, I think it's an A5. Okay. Oh, it didn't beep. Again, something funny happened. Just wondering, what do I really want to do with this? What are we doing? What are we going to do? Wait, really, I'm trying to think. I'm thinking I don't want single colour. I want full colour. Damn, I hate, I hate it when I can't decide. Now I'm itchy again. Now... What are we going to do with this? I don't know what to do with it. I'm just playing it by ear, so as to speak. So I'm wondering what we're doing with the colour balance. I was thinking of that, stripping the black. And now we're just going to give it a background colour. And to contrast with that colour, we're going to do some manipulation of the colour balance. Up goes the magenta. All the rest stays the same. And let's see how it goes. This will be our first one. So let's get it out. It's a 3D object. It is a piece of plastic net. We're going to do the underside of it. We're going to put it on the glass like so, in A5 area, and I'm wondering if we're going to drop the, no, I'm going to leave the dock feeder up, and let's see how it goes. So let's see, we stripped the black, and we've done some more work on the colour balance, and we're also using a back, a an RGB function. We're using, we're trying to think what colour, oh yeah, we're enhancing the blue. Let's see how it goes. Usually on flat objects, I find that stripping the black makes it look gross. But it looks, I've tried it with my face and with my hands, it comes up a treat if you know what you're doing, if I get the right settings. So, in fact, I'm disappointed. This has been a letdown. For some reason, yeah, there's just a lot of black. It's most it's made up mostly of black, so we can't expect it to look all that good. So one thing we might do, yes, we've got it on negative positive reverse. And we forgot, yeah, we set the brightness. Yep, we did that to the correct one. I'm not sure what we're doing here, but I don't know. We're going to try it with the in positive mode and see how it works. But if it doesn't work, I'll have to find some other thing. But I was hoping there'd be like shadows, but maybe I'll have to drop the dock feeder. This is probably going to be a prolongated demo. Let's see if it's improved. Because if, if it's mostly black and the other colours aren't in it, it's not going to look too good. And yes, it looks too dark. It looks like shit. It looks horrible. And that's the thing, taking out the black for this. So I'm just trying to think what to do about it. Whether we go back and we just take out black. We don't want to, I don't know what to do with this fuck. I don't know what this how this is going to fucking work. So, we're going to go negative positive. Now, are we going to keep the blue in play? We will. So, we're just going to maybe drop the dock feeder, give it a bit of shadow. Shadow can work wonders. I don't want it all the way down. I should put something underneath it to support it. But it looks like it's going to fall down. Let's see how it goes. We've got the black in play.
this looks like it's going to be one of them difficult, if not undoable demos. I hate these sorts of demos. <laughs> but I've done well in this demo set so far, so I can't complain. And it looks interesting. That looks almost luminous, but one thing we did forget, we have forgotten altogether to actually enlarge it. So we're going to enlarge it. 141.4 right I'm wondering if we're gonna fuck me dear this is so difficult the black so the black I wonder what we do with the black we're gonna zero the black so we're gonna start again with this demo with this again see what happens Okay, let's have a look. Well, that's interesting, but I'm wondering if we could do something different, or maybe we'll just stick with that. I think we'll just stick with this one. We're not going to do all the other colours. So I think we'll call that one quits. 